Hi, I'm Sapentia. This is very introductory step course for beginners. Fundamentals 3. What is the p-value? In prior class, we learned about mean and standard deviation. These two are best and easy tools for inference true value via statistics. So you can describe your data with mean and standard deviation. And these two are the center of statistics and the variance is the most important. As I said, you must remember statistics is the magic of variance. Okay, we will uh, go on the p-value. I think uh, most people may be heard about the p-value. If you learned a little bit about the statistics, you may remember the name p-value. For example, we usually say that because the p-value is less than 0 0.05, it is statistically significant. Okay, so here, what is the p-value and what is the 0 0.05? And also, what is the meaning of statistical significance? The reason why statistics was difficult is nobody answered on this question with kindness. When I was a graduate student, I asked to many professors and they explained the meaning of p-value, but it was very, very difficult. Here. I will explain one by one. Okay. Um, many people are talking about p-value, but nobody clearly knows what it is. So here the question is, what is the p of p-value? Yes, maybe the p is a word start with p. What word? Percent? possibility, or preference, whatever. So here, we must know what is the P, what is this word. Simply, I answered the P value is probability value. Yes, it is probability. P value is, me, is, the, is means the uh, probability. The next questions will be like this. What is this probability and where does it come from? And why do we have to know this number? P-value, probability, and point 0 0.05. In many cases, students even didn't know the P-value was probability. In my class, Many students didn't know that, just they use p-value 0.05. Sometimes they didn't know what the probability means, just they, they said probability, p-value. So we need to back to our first class. Did you remember the first class? At the first class, we were talking about statistical decision making. And that class, I said, what is the probability that an event occurs by chance? This is the question and the starting point of statistics. What is the probability that any event occurs by chance? Here, this probability is that p-value. The meaning is this probability that any event occurs by chance is the p-value. Yes, if you are um, statistics expertise or you have any major on statistics, maybe you say that, huh, this kind of explanation is wrong in terms of traditional and very rigorous statistics meaning. 
Yes. However, it is very, very close to the real meaning. And this is the easiest way to understand the meaning of p-value. So, don't worry about that. We will go next. Our question is here, why do we expect that the p-value is less than 0 0.05? Why do we use only 0 0.05, not 0 0.07 or 0 0.1, 0 0.5? As you know, as I said, the range of any probability is from 0 to 1. Yes, because this is a probability. Only the value is from 0 to 1. So the point 0 0.05 is 5%. So who made this rule of 5%? Why not 7%, 10%? When I was a graduate student, I asked to, um, this question to my class uh, professor. He said, uh, okay, long time ago, the French scholars just made it. We must follow that rule. That's all, he said. Mm, still, we have a question, why not? 10%. Why not 15%? We want to use uh, other numbers in some times. However, first of all, you must remember this one. We just follow any kind of a tradition in this topic. So, okay, now 5% is okay. You must accept that. But here, the real meaning of 5% p-value is here. If p-value is less than 5%, it means that a probability that an event occurs by chance is less than 5%. Okay, so what? Okay, so I will explain more details in this case. If an event occurs with less than 5% probability, it means that it could be interpreted that this event is not occurred by chance. Not by chance. Thus, there will be a reason or cause which makes the event. Consequently, we could reasonably guess there is a causal relationship between the cause and result. So, the reference number less than 5% means this small probability signifies this event is not occurred by chance. At this point, you can ask a question, why not 1%? Yeah, it's good, it's good. But if we change our rule from 5% to 1%, it means that you are more conservative rules on this case. So if you are a um, graduate student and you want to publish uh, your paper to academic journal, sometimes the reviewers require, hey, not just 5% is good or is fully satisfying. It's not satisfying. So, Sometimes they require how about 1%, but this case is very rare because this is kind of a tradition, as I said. Okay, in other words, if an event occurs with larger than 5% probability, likewise 10%, 6%, 15%, it means that it could be interpreted that this event is occurred just by chance. So, there is no reason which makes the event. So, we can conclude that there is no causal relationship. Because it is just by chance. It occurred by chance.
there is no causal relationship between any cases. Okay, this is the meaning of p-value. But you don't be confused the meaning of statistical significance and the practical significance. These two are totally different. Even though the p-value is less than 5%, the event is not always occurred in the real world. I will explain later with more detailed and more closing to the traditional statics, statistics meaning. Okay, I will stop here. Fundamental 3, what is the p-value? Goodbye. Mm -hmm.